we're here at Zocalo Food Truck Park. For those who are not familiar watching this uh, special edition of Chopped, I guess you want to call it. So Sherry, talk to me about why are we doing this event? Well, Teens Grow Greens, you know, it's, it's support that helps the program run. So the funds that we're going to raise uh, through this event today, um, we're going to help with the programming for the students. But something neat with the chefs that are they're supporting us today, half of what we raise is going to go to them as well. All right, all right. Welcome. So, so tell, me, tell me who you are. Hey, I'm Anthony Horton. I'm with Teens Go Greens, and I go to Mesmer High School. I'm a sophomore. Growing up, me and my dad was always in the kitchen. One day, he had me cook my own breakfast. I made fried eggs and pancakes. And from then on, I've just been cooking in the kitchen. So talk to me, how'd you get hooked up with Teens Go Green? So Teens Go Greens came to my school when I was in eighth grade. I didn't join the program for the money. I joined for the sheer experience that I heard about and to work with children. Before that, I was always either playing football or playing my game. Beautiful, man. But now it's, I have a garden to tend to, and I have meetings to go to. So it's just getting me prepared again for being an adult. And you today, our chef? How's it going? My name is Jesus. I'm the co-owner of Sokolo and the owner of Mazorca Tacos. Awesome, great. So tell me what ingredients are you working with today? The secret ingredients we have today are jicama, chocolate, and a nice steak. So Anthony, tell me, have you ever eaten jicama before? Well, this would be a first for me. All right, so you excited? Very much so. All right, great, thank you. You got your pan on already? Get that going, get it nice and hot. with the chocolate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Riley, you might have to hold it down for the salad. It could be just chopping chocolate the whole time. All right. So this team, what, what, what are we calling your team? Team Kyla. Kyla, all right. My name is Kyla Toaster Hopkins, and I'm an intern at Teens Girls Creek. In middle school, each Friday, we would have community meal where students could basically cook lunch for the entire class. And then I got really interested in it, learned a lot of cooking skills, and then I watched Chopped on the TV, and I was like, wow, I wish I could do that, like no recipes by heart. So that's what got me to cook. And tell me real quick, how'd you get hooked up with Teens Go Green? Um, basically through my school, they provide us different internships that are happening throughout the um, city. I've learned a lot about mental health, healthy living, healthy eating, because like I always wanted to either go to culinary school or go to art school for something. So I know somehow I'm going to incorporate Teens Go Green to, into that. Ever since then, it's been really cool and really having great experiences. And I'm happy to actually be here for this experience, too. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, who's your chef today? I'm Alexa Alfaro. And then? I am Matt Alfaro. We're with Meat on the Street. Awesome. You're cooking with chocolate, beef, chocolate, and beef, and jicama. Okay, so have you used jicama before? We have used jicama on a slaw before, yes. Okay, yes. nice. Good so texture, your good crunch. Okay. So the secret ingredients were jicama and chocolate. And jicama, I knew that would be easy because like I've tried it before. They've had it in like little hot lunches with MPS lunches. You don't necessarily think about chocolate when it comes to savory foods and when it comes to cooking. All right, so Kyla, so we are using indulgence chocolate. Have you ever had this before? No. This so you is just my tried first it today? Time, yeah. So what are your thoughts? I like dark chocolate, so I it was really good to me. What are your thoughts today? What are you gonna do? You know this chocolate is what's throwing us. Beef, steak, meat, we're good with those. So we're thinking we're gonna put the chocolate on the steak with a nice mole rub on top and cook it up. Nice, exciting. And then we're gonna do like a jicama, tomato, apple, avocado like salad on the side to bring it all in. Do you want to stir up over here? Yeah. Keep that going really good, nice and gentle. All right, guys, Team JJ, we're going to call you, right? Yep. So tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Jose. I'm in an internship at Team Seal Green, CGG. My boss told me about this uh, challenge, I guess you can say, and that was interesting. Well, I'm always hungry. Yeah. And that's the thing. So I want to learn how to cook my own food. Yes, like, you know, eating at restaurants is expensive. So yeah, I want to learn how to cook for myself and for my family. So have you cooked before? Um, yeah, I made scrambled eggs. I can make toast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a start. So tell me, Jose, how long have you been with uh, Teens Go Greens? I started on late May. 
Okay. Uh, when I joined the program, um, my boss told me about every two weeks we, we get uh, recipes to cook. First time in Bern, but like after some tries, I learned. So I burned zucchini somehow. Okay. That's okay. We're gonna need that experience because oh, we're gonna oh, do yeah. some burning today. <laughs> Cooking with Jarvis was an experience because I never cooked with a chef, so I was um, nervous to be honest. So I've been cooking for, I don't know, probably 15, 20 years. You know, I do a lot of um, like pro start at MPS for uh, Bayview High School. I help the kids like get into cooking and learning about cooking, things like that. What are you gonna make today? So we're going to make uh, like a spicy chili with uh, some chocolate in there. And then we're gonna top it with a jicama like slaw. I mean, it's like a apple turnip kind of flavor. It's really sweet. All right, give that a try, Jose. Tell us, tell us your first experience with, with jicama. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> no. What's the texture like? What does it feel like? Crunchy. Crunchy. Like, like an apple. Like an apple. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So tell me what's going on in the, in the pot right now. We're going to start with diced carrots, some bell peppers, a little bit of garlic and onions. We'll sweat those down. It's constantly building flavors, it's bringing it up. Really yeah, good. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the next thing will be to add our, uh, our braised beef. So this is chicken broth. Brown, uh, brown chuck stew meat, the spices, salt, pepper, and chili seasoning. And I let that simmer on its own for about 45 minutes. So the meat is just right before falling apart. We're gonna add the tomatoes in there. Those fresh tomatoes are gonna break down. They're gonna give their, their soul to the dish. So we're gonna add more chicken broth in there. And the only reason I'm putting it in there is so I can give it more time to keep breaking that meat down. So we're gonna get it back to what you saw it before. So yeah, we're just gonna keep stirring okay, it, making sure okay. it doesn't um, stick to the bottom and scorch. And we'll add uh, our other ingredients, our beans, we'll add those toward the end. How are you gonna incorporate the chocolate into the dish? I'm gonna grate a little bit in the, in the braising liquid, um, just so it can kind of get familiar with the flavors. And then we'll grate some chocolate over the top of the chili when it's done. It's a level of flavor that you know, not even a chili spice can bring on its own. You know, it's a, it's a depth. The same thing with the tomatoes. I charred them, I blistered them up. So we're gonna take our charred components, blitz them up, and we're gonna add those in there and that'll definitely thicken the dish up. And then the char is gonna come in and give some more smoky notes that'll develop over time. Ooh. We're looking pretty good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Chili is like an all day kind of simmering kind of dish, right? When we got a half an hour, what are the tricks? We're gonna put it in jet mode. So we're gonna put it in the pressure cooker to really get everything going. It'll take away the day's uh, work of, of letting that thing kind of tenderize and break down. So how easy do you think this is gonna be for somebody at home to recreate this dish? Super easy. Um, you know, you can get Jose. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he has like a fee or something, but so we have some uh, shishito peppers right here. So we're gonna char these up and we're gonna use those as, um, as our garnish. What Jose is gonna do is he's gonna char it on our little shield here. Tariq, check out these Nevskos by my boy Anthony. What better than his is? <laughs> What are your ideas? What are you going to do with this? The idea is, you know, we really want to cook with fire. I mean, it's fall, so, you know, I feel like it'll keep us warm as we cook, but we're just going to grow some uh, vegetables, you know, toss them in with some with a vinaigrette, and then we're going to, you know, grow the steak, cook a sauce, and hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy it. Awesome. Use any anything you add, but personally, we're, we're doing a mole-inspired uh, sauce today. Mole is a very traditional and very regional dish from Mexico. We're gonna add some chocolate, some beets, some mushrooms, some onions. So we're taking the chocolate and creating our own, our own twist to it. Okay. A little bit more. Beautiful, perfect. Right now we're gonna add this red wine to reduce it, add some sweetness to it. it smells really good, thank you. How are you gonna prepare your steak? We're just gonna put salt, pepper on the steak. Uh, we really want the beef flavor to come out. So all the flavors are gonna be in that sauce. Okay. We have a hot skillet out there that's oh. waiting for us. Uh oh, I'm worried that it's not hot enough. 
grill's going out. <laughs> Man, my heart fell when I heard the grill went out. I'm gonna need that, uh, this little stove top, okay? Hey, Jesus, again, came through, put it on the skillet, still came out pretty good. You want to toss it for them? Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about the green salad again. So we have jicama, beets, uh, asparagus, green onion. Everything was charred, now we're bringing it in. We're incorporating our dressing. It's a mustard lime dressing. You want to try this? Yes, sir. Beautiful. What do you think? Does it I don't like dressing, but I love this. It's good? <laughs> you like it? So what do you think? The beets and the jicama comes together and then you got the asparagus with that grilled and char flavor. It's all just so wonderful. As soon as this is done, this is done cooking, right? Once that's done, we'll put it on the board, we'll let it rest, we'll slice it, and then you get to plate it, right? I'm gonna do tomatoes next. I would do one whole one in there. That one. And we'll do an apple. We'll do some, I'm thinking two avocados. You're gonna cut that in like chunks. Think about just like a fresh salad where you like actually when you bite the vegetable you're gonna taste it, okay? okay? So now I see some new ingredients being pulled out. Yeah, so this salad that we're gonna make is gonna be like super fresh and we want it to be that you could go to a farmer's market, pick out all the best looking ingredients, all the ingredients in season and throw it together and we're gonna do a super simple a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of citrus. For citrus, we're actually gonna use calamansi juice. Okay, so that's a very Filipino. It is, yes. We really want the freshness of the ingredients because nothing's been done to them other than just been chopped and put together. We really want that to shine through. You wanna just mix this up real good? I don't have two gloves on. And then we're gonna raise Okay, try it. Make sure you get like apple, avocado, tomato, and stuff in there. And the jicama, obviously, too. It's good. It's good. Okay, we're not gonna. We're we're done then. We're good. We're gonna do a cilantro celery root puree. The celery is already getting boiled down. Matthew, so tell us your cooking preparation for that steak. So we chopped up the cocoa nibs really fine. Then we put a little of the mole seasoning on it. We pat pushed it down really well so it got into the steak. Now I'm going to lightly cook it, try to cook it quickly so it's done off and so it doesn't burn the chocolate essentially. Mm, smells good. creative freedom. When they were like, you can do the plating, I was like, oh, wait, really? I thought you were going to do that. And they were like, yeah, definitely go ahead. Yep, okay. one for each judge. Sorry. Just be creative with it. Like, use your artistic abilities to, like, your fullest. Kyla, as you're plating this, tell me a little bit about your, you have like an art background, right? So tell me a little bit about that. Basically, I'm going to base it off of how colors are created. The tomatoes, the avocados, the jicama, as well as the onions. You want to make sure you can see everything. We eat with our eyes. And so I love the artistry that can go into plating. And it can be from like, like this, to me, the simplest of dishes. Getting to do stuff like this and then also like watching teens cook is so cool to see like how they view the food and how they think it should go together. And Kyla's killing it right now, which is why we're just hanging out back here. It's based off of like what I've been taught um, in school as well as like self-taught, so. Well, I mean, you know, presentation is worth points for all of this, so great, good luck. Kill the game, Kyla. Way to go. Those are beautiful. So it was like a lot of freedom. It was really fun. How's uh? All right, we can pull it off. Let it rest here.
It's beautiful, nice big pieces. Uh, Love it. Okay, I'll do the first one, you can just follow up. Just have fun with it, okay? So we just, you know, we can do something like this. Growing up as a kid, I used to always had to sit at the kitchen table and I'd, you know, because I probably didn't like the food. So I would just play around with my food, honestly, and just, I'd paint on my plate. Did, did you try this? The way they well, it's it's good. Like yeah. yeah, try it. So hungry right now, looking at all this great food. What about you? So I'm just really excited to taste these dishes. They smell great. So Jarvis, tell us uh, what you're doing to prepare the jicama. Yeah, so I'm going to slice it really thin, and then I'm going to turn it into julienne strips, and uh, same with the red onion, and that'll be our slaw for on top of the, on top of the chili. So we're just going to like brighten it up a little bit um, with, some, uh, with some fresh lime juice, some cilantro. So the shishitos are going in a salad, are you going to chop them up or are they going to be separate? I'm going to put them on the top of the chili, and then I'm going to take a couple and chop it into, the, uh, into this slaw as well. Yeah. So we're going to put some olive oil in here, salt and pepper. Um, I'm going to put a touch of chili seasoning in here as well, just so it can kind of warm you up to the dish. I'm going to give it a try. Well, it's delicious. Go ahead, give it a try. I would suggest blowing first. <laughs> we should sell this. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? <laughs> so then we'll we'll plate. Let's be bold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you're on. remind you what the judging is all about, right? So yeah, right. the judging is on flavor, which is important. It's presentation, how it looks. Does uh -huh. it look pretty? And then also the creative use of the secret ingredients, right? Those are what we're going to be judging on. That's what the audience is going to be judging on. Judges, how are we? Hello. Good. So they're going to be judging with their eyes. Tariq and I get to judge with our mouths. So. so what do you think, Tariq? I mean, a nice warm bowl of chili is perfect for like a fall day, right? It looks great. It looks great, the, the, the incorporation of the jicama as part of the garnish law. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's chocolate inside the chili, so it looks like it's all coming together in one bowl. Well, let's see how it tastes, right? I'm gonna take a bite of the, ch the little pepper first. Oh yeah? You get lucky? I'll try mine. Mine's hot. It's hot? <laughs> Mine's hot. <laughs> At least to me it's hot. But the char is nice on there, right? Yeah. It's, it, it enhances, it's not just a raw pepper, it's got mm -hmm. some some char to it, a little bit of flavor. You know, I could use more of that jicama salad though on top. Really? That'd be nice. It's It's got a good crunchy oh, yeah. sweetness it, to it, but- It works well with chili. Yeah, like I want more. This does have just the right amount of heat, I think. I mean, it's not overpowering. I mean, I'm not running for a glass of water right now, but I could feel it. I know it's there. No, it's really good. I think, I think it was a successful dish. Can you taste, can you taste the chocolate? I'm trying just to find it a little bit. I'm trying to subtle. find it. I love the different textures. Mm -hmm. You know, the jicama, the beans, the beef. Yeah, really, every time I have a bite of the chili and the slaw together. You want more? I just, yeah. All right, well, you guys, this was a really successful dish. Like, making chili in that short amount of time was, was really ambitious, but I think it turned out really well. Uh, so, Jarvis, tell me, what was the most challenging ingredient out of the three? I think that the jicama was the biggest challenge. I, I'd never thought to use it to cook, so I was just kind of like, okay, well, jicama can stay over here in the fresh department. We'll figure out what to do with beef and chocolate, 
it worked out really well with this chili. Having it on top was something I never had before, but it was something I would want more of. It was a really nice okay. touch. Yeah. Jose, tell me what was your experience like cooking with Jarvis? I learned a lot. <laughs> like I said, I learned some skills from him so I can get the ingredients from, from the gardens and make them on my own. I want to try it at home and show it to, to my family. Well, we really loved this chili. I mean, what was your favorite part of it, Tariq? I mean, honestly, I, the touch of the shishito pepper, I love that touch. But again, when the jicama and the chili hit together in my mouth, it was just like magic. I loved it. So overall, really successful. Great job. Oh, thank you. Both of you, thank you. Thank you. Well, this looks great, like Tariq. I mean, the plating. What do you think? That's gorgeous. Yeah. That puree on the bottom is really good. Have you tried that? It's a celery root. I taste the chocolate and the rub on the steaks. Yeah. Unexpected, but a, a pleasant surprise. Yeah, it goes well with the beef, just that little bit of sweet. See the jicama here in the salad. Yeah, that's really fresh. I don't taste the jalapeno, do you? Very little, very little. I can taste that it's in there. No, a really good job. So tell us about what it was like working with Kyla. It's awesome to see someone as young as Kyla at 15 just feel confident to go in and take initiative. And she was super proud of the dish we made, and so we're really proud of that too. Okay, what I gained was better knife skills, like how to do bear claw when you're cutting, as well as, I guess, just having fun when you're cooking. Yeah, awesome. The plating was beautiful, yeah, Kyla. Yeah. So we, we commented, you have a definite future in, in food art, if that's what you're Thank into. You. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think the plating was was awesome. Yeah, I think it was a very successful dish. Well, thank well, you. Good luck, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Great thank job, you by the way. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. This looks great. It looks really high end, right? Like like you get yeah. this kind of plate at a restaurant. Yeah, I just love the colors. It's a playful dish. Well, let's give it a try and see what it tastes like. Sounds good. The meat looks like it was cooked nicely. And this was grilled, so I like that they did something different with it. Mmm. You can really taste the chocolate. Yeah, she can. And this roasted beet and scallion salad, it looks really bright. Nice crunch on the jicama, the beets. I think it's very well executed. I love the balance of flavors, I love the colors. But the salad, the salad's a winner to me. It's ambitious to try to do like a mole, right? Mm. In this a little amount of time, but it's beautiful and it tastes great. So, I mean, what more can you really ask for, right? Uh, yeah, so, you know, when I met Anthony, you know, we talked about each other's cultures and how we can mash our flavors. So we decided why not make, you know, a mole-inspired uh, sauce. Mole just really means, you know, it's it's whatever you have, right? Whatever you have in your, your pantry. And uh, we were able to execute a sauce that didn't really take much time and just really kind of tell our story of how we met through our food. What was this experience like for you? Anthony. Coming to work with Asus, I can't stop saying it enough. I'm super grateful for meeting them. Being able to sit beside and work with them and help them out with what's going on here at Zocalo showed me the importance of being patient and that it's worth cooking something for somebody different. I've gotten new experiences, new contacts, new friends, and a whole new field of view of the world. I think it's great that these uh, these teens got this experience with these these chefs. Maybe inspired them to to pursue cooking in a, yeah, a whole other way. I wish I had experience like this when I was young. Yeah, for sure. I can use these experiences that I've had in the future, which is going to be really interesting because most teens like me don't really get this experience to do these types of things. Smile. So the fact that I got the opportunity to do it is like amazing, and I'm actually extremely excited for what my future is going to be. I feel like other teens should be able to do this. More teens should be able to have these interactions with other teens from different schools. We're the new new generation. Maybe we can be the next chef. If they believe us, they can support us, so they can try our food next time. This event is like one of the best things that I've done over this entire like quarantine and in general. I would have never had this experience without being a part of Team Terrence Greens.